Hey guys, Nick here again from Click and Droid, and today I have a review of the ROM Cyanogen 4.2.3 for the Motorola Click. Let's get started. So it comes with the basic Cyanogen boot logo, which you'll see here in a second when it boots up. There it is. Very basic, clean, but very nice, and it has a nice approach. So here we are into the ROM. It's a very fast boot compared to any other ROM I've ever flashed. The date is messed up, it's still set to December 31st, 1969, and you cannot change it from 7 o'clock or the date. So let's go. I've had some touch input issues where the touch stopped working and I had to use the buttons for it to get to work, but this is also only a beta ROM. So here you have the basic Cyanogen home screen. If you have a MyTouch or a G1, you'll see this probably every day because Cyanogen is a very stable ROM for those phones. It is Android 1.6, which is a huge, huge step for the Click community. This means that maybe sometime in the future we can have a very stable 1.6 ROM working for the Click, and we can get that nice Maps app that every other phone out there has that has 1.6. And to prove it is 1.6, there we go with the touch input issues. Might be my. About. And there you see at the top, one firmware version 1.6. Um, so this ROM, there is no data, no Wi-Fi, no vibrate. Uh, you can make calls. There's no camera. Um, the headphones do work. You can make text messages. But you cannot connect to the Google account because there is obviously no data whatsoever. Uh, it's a very stable ROM for just beta, but again, it is Cyanogen, so that's what I expect from it. The home screen widgets work. You only have a few compared to regular ROMs, which is analog clock, calendar, music, power control, and search. Um, it comes with all the Cyanogen wallpapers, so just all the basic ones that he's included probably since his first ROM. Just set it as your wallpaper. And they all match nicely with the icons and everything, if you've never seen them before. You can set shortcuts or create folders. Basically has all the things you might want to do with a regular Android ROM on the home screen. The music player doesn't work. Um, I've gotten two problems with it. One time it force closed on me and one time it just doesn't have sound. Like when I go to play a song, it just kind of skips through the seconds at the bottom right there and no, nothing comes out of the speaker. But after all, it is a beta ROM still, so that's pretty much it. It's a huge step for our Click users right now. We are in 1.6 now with this ROM and hopefully in the future sometime we'll be running 2.1 or 2.0, who knows. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe.